Michael, thank you. Now at four, more local teachers taking part in a demonstration over the ongoing budget battle and their stalled raises. Our Anthony Wilson posting this video on his Instagram account this morning as teachers marched in Durham demanding higher pay raises than those proposed by GOP leaders. Anthony is at Forest View Elementary with their demands. Dozens of teachers and other school workers emerged from Forest View Elementary shortly after 8.30 this morning. Some wore the red color associated now with North Carolina teacher demands for better pay. A real budget. Fully funded. They circled the flagpole here several times, chanting, I believe that we will win. And Durham Association of Educators President Michelle Burton wants state lawmakers to pay attention. So we're saying to them, are children important or are the corporations in our state important? And we're saying we need to put our children first, and that's why we're standing behind Governor Cooper to have a fully funded budget. This is the latest in a series of education funding demonstrations, including this mass march in Raleigh back in May. Whose voice? Our voice. Take it away. No. We saw similar action outside Harris Creek Elementary in Raleigh today, where teacher's assistant Heather Pugh says she's underpaid. I have two bachelor's degrees. I make $13 an hour to be a TA. I'm here by choice because I enjoy the work. I'm the child of educators. It will take me 13 years to get a step increase of $1. But will all the demonstrations convince lawmakers to provide the funding these people demand? We're just going to keep being persistent. And we also know 2020 is right around the corner. And, you know, teachers and educators vote. She likes the sound of car horns after they ask parents to honk if they support their fight for better pay. We don't want to disrupt class time, but we also believe that we have to get this message out some way, somehow. That's why today's demonstration didn't last long after some students learned about labor issues here. Our schools need more money. That's what this march is for. Then they quickly marched back inside the building to begin classes for the day. Reporting in Durham, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Now